Hello, it's Zoe from TVH Studying, and here's also Luna Girl. <laughs> so welcome to our dorm tour. I'll show you guys around my physical room, and I'll also show you a little bit of what my dorm building looks like. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. You ready? This is what the outside of my dorm looks like. My hallway is drag queen themed, so my name tag has a little Raja on it. I actually didn't know much about drag queens before moving in here, so it was really cool to learn more about drag queen culture. Down the hall, this is our bathroom right here. And it's just a regular communal bathroom. I store my shower stuff in that cubby over there bathrooms, shower stalls, and that's the bathroom. Down this way is the dorm lounge. This is where I usually have lunch with my friends. The printer is also here as well as the microwave. And now we're back in my room. So first things first, I have all of my shoes on the side of my door so that they're easy to slip on and off. I use my shower shoes primarily for going only around the inside of my college dorm. I never wear these outside. So these are like my inside slippers whenever I leave my dorm, but everything else I wear when I leave the dorm. Now, if we pan over here, we have my closet and we open it up it's where i keep all my clothes of course but i also keep some other things like my laundry here it's hanging from a hook and i just throw everything in here i also keep some additional personal items like tampons q-tips and the cotton rounds in here as well as luna's litter stuff in the back i have some rain boots that i pull out when it's the rainy season and i also have my makeup and skincare over here is the mirror where I primarily do all of like my skincare routines, makeup if I put on any, so there's a mirror here. But otherwise, this is my closet. So right beside the closet, we have Luna's Litter Corner. I keep Luna's Litter Box here. I use the Tidy Breeze system because I found that the Tidy Breeze system has been the best for containing and controlling odors from cat pee and cat poop and then here i have a litter genie trash can that really helps contain the smell of luna's poopies i also have my vacuum here and luna's carrier case i haven't swept for today but usually if you can see tidy breeze is made of pellets not of traditional clay litter so every now and then i have to sweep up the pellets but the tidy breeze system is a lot cleaner and a lot easier to clean up than traditional clay litter, at least for me, in my dorm. So this is the litter box system that I really prefer. So that's Luna's corner. And then here we have my corner, which is the bed. But underneath the bed is where I have a lot of my storage. I moved the blankets out of the way so you can see under the bed better, but here's where I have my fridge. This gray bin is where I keep all of my cooking utensils and tools, pots and pans, spices, everything like that. You can get a better look of this in my spring cleaning video, which I will link down below if you're interested. And here's where I keep like my dry goods, snacks, things like that. So I have my rice, snacks, granola bars, dry pasta, and extra Tupperware containers if I have any like leftover food from events or when I cook. I also keep any spare boxes under my bed for any of my appliances like my rice cooker or my hot pot so that way when I pack up for the end of the year I can just stick my appliances directly back into their boxes and stack them more easily within moving boxes. So. Even though this looks like a mess, like it's a necessary mess. Finally, I just have my suitcases in the back over there. Luna loves napping on the suitcases, so that's like her secret special corner. And that is a surprise box that I'll be unboxing for you guys later this week. So now we're back to my bed. Some people had some questions about where I got my 
bed stuff from. So first things first, these like fleecy like microfiber blankets. I got them from Costco. This blanket I crocheted myself, so you can't really get this anywhere. And I didn't use any pattern to make this blanket. I just kind of went for it. And you can probably tell that it's like falling apart because some of the ends are like falling out. So I would definitely recommend if you're interested in crocheting a blanket for yourself to find a pattern instead of going crazy, going stupid like I did. But I made this myself. The duvet is from Ikea. The pillowcase, this one, came with a duvet cover. And then the pink pillowcase and my pink sheets came from, I think, Bed Bath & Beyond. The pillows themselves, I got the cheapest ones at Target. Since Target is the closest nearby available like superstore nearby, so just got these from Target. As for my stuffed animals, I got this from Daiso in Korea. This was a gift from a friend, so I actually don't know where you can get it. This was also a gift from a friend, but I think if you search up Plague Nurse plushie, this should come up. My friend got me this one to match with their Plague Doctor plushie, so they come in like a matching set. So there is my bed stuff. This is just a random shawl I got from my mom. I just keep it out because Luna likes sleeping on it sometimes. This is sort of like a window seat area. Right here is where the ventilation comes out. So this is where all the heating comes from. And this is where I have like my little drink station. I have my hot pot kettle thing to boil water, my Nespresso, milk frother, I don't know why this is here, but I guess it's my sponge and then some chocolate truffles from my sister. This is a skylight that my partner got for me. When you turn it on, you can make um, like colorful lights shine on to your ceiling and it's really pretty at night. So I will show you later when the sun goes down. Here I have like ah, caramel drizzle, toasted marshmallow syrup for any coffee drinks I want to make. And then here I have Allerpet, which is honestly a lifesaver. I have like a mild allergy to cats and my partner is super allergic to cats. So we bathe Luna with this like once or twice a week and brush her regularly. And that's been really helpful in controlling allergy symptoms. This is where Luna likes to nap. And that is the outside view of my dorm. So here is my desk where all the magic happens. I originally had my desk facing this way vertically, but I wanted to face the window and see like actual sunlight. So I flipped my desk around the other way and it's been really nice because it makes my room look bigger than it actually is. Here I have my desk set up. I have a laptop stand and a mechanical keyboard and my water bottle my lamp and extra like work stuff that I want to do here. The first drawer, I keep a lot of my masks, both cloth and disposable ones, extra glasses in case mine breaks, and some other stuff that I couldn't fit into like the other drawers. So these are like extra reed diffuser sticks. I have like athletes tape somewhere in here, etc., etc. The second drawer is where I keep my washi tape, any like technological stuff. So I have my webcam, my chargers, my hard drives, any extra bits and doodads for my cameras all in the back. And then I have like any medications, supplements, first aid stuff all in here. I also keep sentimental stuff like letters, cards, things like that all in here as well. The third drawer is Luna's favorite because this is where I keep all of her food, her treats, and things like that. I have like her flea medication, extra treats, her toys, like little wipes in case she gets poop on herself, things like that. So this is Luna's special drawer. Yeah, it's your favorite drawer, isn't it, Luna girl? Yeah, you're so excited, but it's not dinner time yet. I'm sorry. It's not dinner time yet. Then finally, the last drawer is just a random mix of stuff. I keep all of my stationery empties in here as well as my stickers, my planner, my pencil case, headphones, microphone, and 
pretty much anything else I can't shove into the other drawers. I hide them all in here. Then when we go to the side, I purposely left some space here. I didn't want to push it too close to the wall because one, I want to see some extra sunlight coming in from the window. And two, I want to make sure all of my wires, my tripod, and my trash can can fit in here. So this is like my storage space for all of the wires, trashy bits, things like that. Now here are my shelves. So the top two are all academic. I keep all of my school books, things like that. And I also keep extra stationery up on here. But the bottom shelf is where I keep my extra mugs, my extra mason jars and things like that, utensils, medication, and also like my fun little doodad corner where I have like extra soap. I got some shampoo bar samples. One of my patrons sent me handmade soap, which was so incredible. I'm using up one bar right now and I keep the extra one here. I have some room sprays as well because when Luna poops in here, the smell is contained by the litter somewhat, but it's still pretty stinky. So I open the window and I give like one spritz of this. I don't want to spray too much because I know cats can be sensitive to scents, but it because it's such a small dorm room like it smells really bad if i don't have at least some linen sprays i have like this little reed diffuser going from like an indie perfume bottle and these are just like natural deer bones that i found in the forest this is extra tea and that's a 3d printed statue of zelda along the side here I have not updated that calendar in a while. It is like the middle of April, so this is out of date, but I used to keep really good track of my schedule here. I still have my whiteboard decorations up from my spring cleaning video. They still spark a lot of joy, so I haven't bothered to change the drawings on them. And this is from Hilson Community Bookstore. That's the dorm tour. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to my patrons who make content creation possible. If you also want to support my channel and any other content that I make, I'll link my Patreon down below. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications because all of that lets me know what kind of content you guys appreciate and want to see more of. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh, I'll show Luna. You want to say bye to our video watchers, Luna? No, you don't? Are you sure? <laughs> Goodbye! Thank you for watching!